So a few years ago I posted a SketchUp tutorial on how to use the Follow Me tool to make these uh, chamfered and rounded edges of a rectangle, a rectangular box, and people asked me how to do the same thing with the cylinder like this, and so this is what this tutorial is all about. So first of all we'll start with a circle, just any size circle here. And notice that my edges aren't very circular, so before I do anything else, I'm going to type 100 S, hit enter to make it a 100 sided circle, and then I'll just simply lift it up some height, make it the same height as that, I guess. Okay. And I'm sure there are lots of ways to put uh, a rounded edge around this top sharp corner, um, but the way that I found that works for me is like so. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a rectangle inside the inside the cylinder and use that to, to put my arc and then we'll trace around uh, the, the top with that little arc. So we just need to put a rectangle inside here and um, again there, there are lots of ways to do that. I'm going to use this guy here, uh, the section plane. This allows me to take a look inside the pieces and I'm going to use the move tool to move way down here like so okay. all right so I'm going to grab my um, rectangle tool start at the origin and I want to make sure that I hit that rectangle right on that endpoint along the red axis okay and I'm just going to lift up I'm sorry. I'm just going to lift way up like so. Oops, I don't think I'm on the red axis anymore. Okay. Okay, boom. And we're good. So we can only see the, the bottom half of this, obviously, so I'm going to use the space bar to grab my plane again and then the move tool to lift it up. And you can see that the rectangle has extended out of the top of that, out of our cylinder. Now I can just delete the, the plane. If the uh, rectangle did not reach the top, one, one way you can, you can use the move tool to help you is to grab that top edge of the rectangle and then just grab the move tool to lift it up a little bit more if you need to. Here I can move the rectangle in all kind of weird directions which I don't want so I'm going to undo that. To keep it constrained along the vertical axis you can click on the move tool and then press the up arrow which constrains it to move along the blue axis and only the blue axis no matter how I move my cursor uh, it only moves along the blue axis. Okay you can see that we have two geometries. We have the cylinder and then we have uh, the rectangle here and the interface is not well defined. So you could either draw a line there or, which I think is better, to highlight both geometries, right click, go to intersect faces with the model and now they're intersected and a line is joined. Okay. We can look inside the cylinder by clicking here for example with our uh, section plane grab the move or grab the plane and then with the move tool we can move it in and we can see then the inside of it this just gives us an opportunity to look inside and more importantly to go in there and draw our little arc that we'd like so I'm going to use the arc tool click there and then I click on this edge and it will snap to boom right there you see it turns pink tangent to the edge click it a couple times and now I have a nice a nice arc okay at this point if you wanted to you could we could have deleted that top uh, rectangle it's not necessary at this at this stage but we can and now we're going to use the move tool if you recall the move tool not the move tool sorry we're going to use the follow me tool this little guy here we first select the um, the face you would like to move around and then choose the move tool and then come in here and we're going to click just on this little cutout edge that we'd like to move around so boom and there it goes it has now become 
a nice rounded edge. And now we can just take our eraser and just erase all these little pieces, little leftover pieces that we don't want. There we go. We can click on the plane, kill it, and now we have a rounded cylinder. And so that's how to make a rounded cylinder. Here's a quick demonstration of how to make a flat edge cylinder using the same techniques, but a line rather than an arc to make the chamfer. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.